Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachah Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right, so brother Isaiah, you with the Pittsburgh GMS camp, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachah Hakodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Um, I'm going to go into this lesson real quick. All right, entitled "Promotion Cometh Not from the East," or really "Promotion Come Promotion Coming from Yahweh by Shimei All right, and uh, you know, the reason I'm going into this is because you know, brothers, you know, in this rat race, you know, in America, Babylon the Great, you know, brothers, you know, being Israelites, we have different things that we do. All right, that we try to do to make money. You know, brothers, you know might be scrambling to figure out how to make this or do this jewelry or do this make these oils and do these different things you know or maybe have a product that they want to sell and you know sometimes it can seem like it's taking a long time for things to kick off or pick up you know and it can just make you kind of maybe get discouraged or just maybe be you know question like dang you know what's going on lord like you know there's certain things you might need and it might not be you might not have it you know and you know uh but then you have moments where you know, <laughs> the Lord uh, sends a lot of people your way to start inquiring of your business or maybe even, you know, showing a great strong interest and, you know, just things like that, you know, and, you know, that that's where this precept is coming to mind that of promotion coming not from the east or from the west, but from your how about you shot because the thing about it is you can advertise, you can do all manner of things to get your business out there to uh network so to speak but if you how about shimmy i was shot him not bless the enterprise it will come to not you know the scriptures say if this you know if this thing be of you how about shimmy i was shot then <laughs> you know it shall it shall not fall basically you know now of course they were referring to uh you know when uh, when people were coming against the disciples and you know they were saying well look man if this thing be of men it will come to not but if it be of the lord all right, <laughs> you'll be happily found to fight against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and I'm using this to say, you know, if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has blessed an enterprise to to prosper, then it will. Okay, and if he has not, then it won't. You know, just to you know, like you for repeating myself, basically. But you know, that's what it comes down to. So, you know, we have to be mindful too. You know, and I always like to tie it into different things of, you know, self introspection. Uh, self-examination you know what i'm saying because i examine myself and i you know i'm not saying i know i'm not perfect at all i got a lot of things to work on i'm sure brothers got things they need to work on no for sure because we in this wicked flesh you know so you know i don't i don't i'm not trying to come off like i'm you know perfect or anywhere near it i don't i don't think i'm anywhere near perfect okay but you know i'm saying this because because of that is why I speak so much about self-inspection. Because of that, because I go through these situations and I observe these things, are you going to turn on your turn signal or are you just going to stop out of nowhere for no reason? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, every time, Salakia, man. I hate to even mention that stuff, but it's like, yo. Anyway, man, demons, bro. I got to learn how to avoid that and <laughs> not even talk about it. But, no, because I do self-inspection, you know, these thoughts come across my mind. And, I, and because I, you know, when I you know when i conquer certain things then the lord's like showing me like this is what i want you to do you know and this is what this is the result of it you know the scriptures say your sins separate between you and the heavenly father okay so there may be things you're doing that's keeping you back from certain things that the lord wants to give you all right we have to remember that okay <laughs> a certain way you do certain things can hinder your blessings you know and so when, when you're on the right path, then the Lord can promote you. When you're on the wrong path, then why would the Lord promote you? You know, there's sometimes where you're on the right path or there's something you need to overcome where the Lord could promote you to have certain money or maybe even certain uh, a certain status and the truth. But you have to be ready to handle that. You know, if you're not ready to handle it, then the Lord you know may hold you back from that so that you don't destroy yourself you see guys that get you know and the spirit is making me speak on this briefly but you see guys that get too much attention or or, or 
you know things like that and they they can't they can't take it they get puffed up you know you see a good example of that with sakari you know because these guys you know compared to our elders and apostles these guys are are pretty much nobodies you know what i'm saying they're upstarts you know they're, they're up and comers you know they're novices puffed up with pride and you know and i just say that like i said in comparison to the elders and apostles of great millstone whom they learn from okay compared to them they are novices but that doesn't stop them from being puffed up with pride. They got too much attention, okay, on them and too much uh, of a following, so to speak, to where now they, they're they doing too much, okay? They're doing too much, all right? So they got that promotion too early, <laughs> all right? The Lord gave them over to that so that they could be puffed up and be proud and for his own purposes to be, you know, to be made an example of so that Israel can fear, okay, from the the ways that the Lord can have you go off, okay? Because that's what they're doing right now, going off, man. All right, but nevertheless, you know, it's not about you. Of course, continue to do certain things. Of course, you know, whatever the Lord has a spirit on you to, to do in order for you to make money. Sometimes you have to pray and ask the Lord, you know? Sometimes you just be looking at certain things. You're like, all right, Lord, you know, I need some help, you know? And then he'll be like, boom, all right, I'm going to show you what you need to do. And then it'll just be the spirit. People start approaching you, this, that, and the other, saying things. You just like, all right, Lord. And if you take the advice through the spirit, because the Lord will have other people speak to you, you know. And so, like, you know, a lot of my uh, lessons I do, you know, if you, if you brothers and sisters notice, if y'all do listen, and you know, or whatever the case might be, and like like the lesson or listen all the way through to, you know, these different points. A lot of my lessons do end up kind of being like things that I'm sharing, you know what I'm saying, things that I may be going through, so it's just like, you know, it's like I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying, it just, it's just, I like talking to people and sharing and giving advice and stuff, so, you know what I'm saying, but the Lord will speak to you through other people, all right, scriptures say man's goings are of the Lord, therefore how can a man understand his own way, you know, and that goes for all levels, that goes for the people who are doing wickedness, the Lord have set them on their path, you know, the scriptures say that, uh, when a man goes to sleep, you know, when he slumberings upon the bed, he sit up their instruction so he may withdraw pride from man. All right. So people get their instructions sealed. All right. You get your instructions sealed and you go out and you're doing your thing that the Lord has you doing. And then along the way, it's, it's all pre-programmed, almost like the Matrix. You know, the woman in the red dress walks by and she's, you know, whatever. You know, that person, person A comes by and says, Oh, I like that. Or what do you, you got, you, you smell nice. What's that? You know, or whatever the case may be, comes across whatever it is and, and says, oh yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> that's because the Lord had them say that. Well, why don't you do this to promote your product? Why don't you go here? That's the advice that the Lord's giving you through the spirit where it's like, okay, this is what, I, this is what you need to do. So, you know, this is just something, like I said, I speak about things that I've experienced uh, that I go through and I share them with you are but uh yeah promotion come up not from the east or the west the scriptures say it is a light thing for the most high to take a man from a dunghill and set him on high the most high can take you out of poverty and set you up high and you got to understand something the scriptures say that he suffered not a man or he, he he suffered not a man of war to suffer poverty I'm, I'm 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 butchering it okay but he doesn't like when the man of war suffers poverty if are you not a soldier of yahweh bashim yahweh shai you are, right? If you're a soldier of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he's not going to suffer you to have poverty. But you have to ask yourself a question. Why is it this way? Sometimes it's because you're being selfish. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's a multiple things. You're being selfish. You wouldn't be able to handle that money. You wouldn't be able to do what the Lord wants you to do because you would be too busy thinking about your own self. What about that? Sometimes it's things like that. You know, I was watching, uh, re listening to the book of Acts briefly on my way out the door, all right? And, um, you know, I took note of how it said in there that there was a time during the, during the, during the uh, Acts of the Apostles where um, nobody had any, there was no secret money. There was, nobody was, nobody took the, uh, took it upon themselves to say, this is mine. That is mine. They weren't being selfish at that time at all. You know, it, there was common money for everybody that needed it during that time. You know, and being in America, Babylon, great, the great teaches you the opposite of that. 
me in America, Babylon the Great teaches you to be about self. It don't teach you. <laughs> it don't teach you about uh, uh, putting things into a pot and sharing it with one another. Oh hell no. It teaches you, man. Look, I need to make sure I put this over here, put that over here because this, that, and the other. And you know, and it's understandable. It's definitely understandable. But you know, during that, during those times. You know, there was there was a situation where it needed to be done. I believe it may have been a dearth. I know they experienced a dearth during those times, you know, uh, where there was a lack of bread, you know, a famine, so to speak, or whatever the case was going on in, in that in that time. So, you know, that uh may have been why they did what they did. You know. I'm, I'm quite sure there was a dearth. But anyway. So, you know, these are just some of the things to consider where, you know, where, why, why, you know, if you ask yourself the question, why the Lord may not be giving you certain money <laughs> or allowing certain ventures, business ventures, you know, whatever ventures you may have, not allowing them to prosper. Okay. Ask yourself, are you, are, are you the type of, are you in the state of mind or state of spirit to do what the Lord would have you to do with that money? <laughs> I think there's even a scripture that says that too. It says, uh, what? You uh, there's one where it says you have not because you ask not. There's another one where it says you pray and you have not because you would devour it upon your lusts. Sometimes the Lord like, nah, I hear you asking me for this money, but I'm not gonna give it to you because, you know, you're still dealing with the, the foolish lusts. You're still dealing with these different things where you would destroy yourself. So I'm not gonna give you that. All these things must be considered. The Lord gives the promotions, man. It's not. It ain't nothing else but your how about shimmy I was shy. If somebody everything is the hey look, man, the scripture say when a man's going when a man's ways please the Lord, he calls him even his enemies to be at peace with him. You think he can't make somebody come to you and say, I want you to work for me. You think he can't come uh, make make somebody come to you and say, I want you, you know, I want you to I want to buy what you have. I want you to do this for me and do that. Man, that's easy for the Lord, man. That's easy. Look at Joshua. Look at Joshua, man. The Lord gave him that gift of interpreting dreams, and the Lord gave Pharaoh a dream and, and, and set it up to where he could save Israel during that time of that great dearth and famine. That dearth or famine. All right? It's, it's nothing for the Lord to put a spirit on somebody to say, hey, you know, something about you. I want you to come here and do this for me. I'm going to pay you this much. You know? This is just something to be mindful of. experiencing certain things and you feel like <laughs> you feel like you don't know where you know you don't feel like you don't know where things are going to come from you know it's all about faith at the end of the day different levels of faith every brother may not have that thing where you're doing it and the lord um is going to you know bless your hands to do certain things uh certain brothers might the lord might have a spirit on them to just work do the best they can and then Stay in his truth, and then other brothers help them. You know, there's everybody's story is gonna be different. All right. All you need to know is your how about you, man? I got your back. So for whom this is for, this is for you. All right. You know, and, and it may be that those certain brothers who end up needing help from others is because there's something that the Lord's protecting you from, to where if you had that money, you would destroy yourself. Consider that. Be honest with yourself. Sometimes you got to look at your situation and say, yeah, you know what? If I had this, yeah, I would probably do this, that, or the third that would cause me to become unbalanced and cause me to fall out of the truth. And when you can admit that to yourself, then you can understand and accept your situation better. It's just, uh, what does Solomon say? He said, feed me with food convenient for me. You know? <laughs> Give me, you know, give me neither poverty nor riches. All right, he said these different things because he was like, "Look, if I be too full, I'll forget thee." All right, he was like, "I don't want to forget you," you know. And I know that in this flesh, and you know, as much wisdom as Solomon had, all right, he still knew. Look, man, Lord, you give me too much. I'm not gonna remember you. I'm not gonna be thinking about you. And that's just the facts. 
You know? <laughs> man, come on, man. Come on, man. Then, you know. And, you know, I'm just, you know, the why do you call law you have about Shimei have a shot for? You know, certain thoughts that you have, but, you know, that, that we have through the Holy Spirit, you know. But, you know, even if you, if you think about it, man, if you had, you know, that that one thing, and I said this before, that one thing or those several things that your souls really delighted in, that you really had great delight in, would you be able to still focus on the Lord? And I mean super delight. I mean, you know, you, you head over heels, you love this thing. You know, the scriptures tell you basically not love not the things of the earth, love not the world, nor the things in it. Okay, if any man loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him, roughly paraphrasing. So there's nothing on this earth that you're supposed to love so much <coughs> that it even has a chance to take you away from doing what Yahweh Shimmy Shai wants you to do. If it even has, if it can even come close, if it can make you make that decision a couple of times, it's dangerous. Well, I know, you know, I need to do this, but you know, this time I ain't gonna do it because I got this woman. Or, you know, I need to go make sure I'm doing this right now. Because this is what I want to do because this is gonna make me happy. You see? That's a dangerous. That's something where the Lord's like, you know what? Maybe it'd be best that I keep that from them. You know? Anyways, hopefully I haven't like went too far off into something else. But uh yeah, that's pretty much what I want to go into, man. Promotion coming from Yahweh me I was shot, not from the east or the west or you know, any of those different things, man. It's all up to you, how about me I was shot, what you get and uh you know all that man. And all and the Lord knows best, man. He knows what you need best out of everybody you don't 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 look don't question don't look and say why is it this way why is it that way the scriptures say you know shut a shut a thing form say unto him that formed it why am i thus what you go you go ask the lord you know now sometimes you can uh you know there's certain you just ain't nothing wrong with pondering but as i said knows best he knows what we want best and the scriptures say he will not tempt you above that which you are able to bear all right so consider that as well but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it there you know i don't, don't want to be the be the dead horse man i want to give all honor glory and praise to you i was shy don't honor to your apostles and elders a great millstone peace blessings and salutations to the whole for the elect with that i want to say shalom Bye, 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 bye.